we're going to be drafting the greatest black characters in all of fandom. Black characters. Now, of course, we all know that they only stopped putting, they only started putting black characters in fandom in like 1980. But once they went into it, <laughs> they went heavy. Obviously, that's not true. We had black characters in the 60s. We've had black characters in the 70s. We've had black characters as long as there's been fandom. And what we're hoping to do with this podcast, and I think Charles and the rest of the Midnight Boys can agree, is that we're hoping to, throughout this draft, just talk about some of the amazing black characters that mm-hmm. have gone down in history in these fandom spaces because they've been really enriching to the fandom culture and they've been really enriching to us as people who enjoy uh, watching and being a part of all of this stuff, right? It's very important, you know? And we're hoping, I know that I am, I can't speak for Steve, we're hoping that in the future <sighs> there are more rich black characters for us to choose from, right, guys? Hell yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Charles said that very militant. Charles was like, hell yeah, we hope it's I, I mean, okay. to, I was prepping for the draft and I was just like, damn, there ain't actually as many characters <laughs> as I thought there were. <laughs> All right. Each Midnight Boy will have their pick of four black characters from across fiction and fandom. Each pick comes with a recommended property, movie, TV episode, etc., from where they would uh, recommend that character from. Snake draft rules, and regardless of who goes first, Steve's going last. Thank you, Steve. That's a mouse. Of course. Thank I you. have to. You shouldn't, that, even be, you shouldn't even be in the draft, to be honest with you. Whoa, whoa, Van. No, no, no. It's not, no Van's right. It's a courtesy. Yeah. We're standing a, a bridge. You know, you know, y'all don't let us to your drafts. That's I mean, right. I was going to say, if Steve got a part of the draft, I know the listeners are like, oh, Steve doesn't like black characters? It would be Shit. so crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a reverse NFL, what we're in right now. Right. Three black owners. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just allowing me. Just allowing you. But see, we don't even have an owner in the NFL. We don't, like, we don't even get to own the team. So but Steve, mm-hmm. we love you. Steve is one of the blackest midnight boys ever. All right. Uh, let's get into it. All right. Jomi, you're up. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's really no other first round pick to go in this greatest black superhero draft. You got to go with, you know, the first, well, not the first black superhero to get a movie, right? That's not true at all. Yeah. But the first black Marvel character to get his own film, the Black Panther. The Black Panther. <laughs> That's the only number one pick. That's the only number one pick. It's only the number one pick. Had to represent. Um, And everybody knows. I'm going to post this picture on Twitter so y'all can see it. But when Black Panther came out, it was a big deal. I had me dressing in my Nigerian clothes (laughs) the whole nine, the whole way. Had to represent for the king of Wakanda. And, you know, we talked about a lot on this podcast before, but how much T'Challa and Chadwick Boseman meant to all of us. And so he was only... He was the only way to go. I know we've all seen Black Panther. We all love it. But yeah, that's my number one pick. My king of Wakanda, T'Challa, Black Panther. The Black, the Black Panther. Okay, so it's on me now. It's on you. All right, so I didn't think that I would be getting the number one pick. I just knew something would happen where I wouldn't be getting it, right? So I planned to actually have the number two pick. I, I planned. Mm-hmm. I, I know what the number two pick is. That's what I was talking about. That's how That goes. Black Panther would like. be off the board. That's what, thought, the, that's what everybody says. Who do you go with if you have the number one pick, the number two pick? There's so many people out there. I thought, hey, maybe Falcon. Fuck no. no <laughs> don't, give, don't give away a couple of picks. Can't give yeah, ideas, don't give away now. your picks. Don't give away your don't strategy. Don't give up the game now. I'm going with the character that had the greatest Spider-Man movie Damn. Ever. Yeah. Yeah. I am going with the character that we all grew to love, that we all came to love, that we all think is the future of the (laughs) Spider-Verse. From Into the Spider-Verse, I am choosing my brother, Miles Morales. All right. This is right. this is rough. I mean, that's, that's that's a great pick. How many times? How many times have we collectively seen that movie? By the way, oh, just round man. round table. Like I've seen this probably uh, in the theaters. I've seen it five times. 
Yeah. I love that movie when it came out. I saw out. it three the times. I saw it three times in the theater. And I'd never buy physical media anymore. That's just not a thing I do. I bought the, the Blu-ray HD DVD edition of this film. Right. That's how much I love it. Had to do it for the culture. For the yeah. culture. For the culture. Ooh. Oh. Miles. <laughs> Uh, Miles on my team. By the way, I would like to say something about this movie. Uh, this movie personally resonated with me, even before the loss of my father. Seeing Miles Morales go back and forth with his dad, two generations up against one another. The scene where his father is trying to connect with him from outside of the door. Oh is my god! Particularly Bruh. moving to me. And I went into this film. I, I, I hope people remember when Into the Spider Verse came out. There wasn't a ton of hullabaloo around it. No. It wasn't a movie that was tabbed as one of the great accomplishments. It was a film that, hey, there's a Spider-Man animated movie coming out. And you just sat down and really, in a lot of ways, I don't mean to be hyperbolic, but had your fucking life changed by this film. Like, it was just fantastic in every way. And so if Black Panther was off of the board, I was going to choose Miles Morales and had thought to choose Miles Morales, maybe even if Black Panther was on the board, Although I wouldn't have done that. Okay. <laughs> so I'm done. <laughs> All right. So this is, the, this is the character that I thought Van would choose for sure. This is the origin. This is where it all begins. The number one enemy of vampires and the IRS. Okay. I'm choosing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk Christ. You son of a bitch. What? Slaying those dumb balls, man. I can't believe you, you fucking son of a bitch, you. If you spend all your money, you don't have to pay taxes. That's Dude, it's no, different. Wesley is, Wesley is a legend, yo. Who can, like, people, here's the thing. You know, everybody thinks it's a Black Panther. Black Panther is the one that really broke through. But nah, like, I would argue not only is Blade, that those movies, one of the most important black superhero movies, I think it arguably started this whole shit. Like, it oh, proves yeah, for sure. yeah. that you can take a character who, like, Blade wasn't the biggest character, but it proves that you could take a character, if you adapt it well enough, you can start, you know, this whole superhero thing off. So I got to go with Blade with my number one pick. Blade, fantastic. Blade, Blade coming out in 1998... I was eight years old. Van, do you remember seeing this movie in the theater? Yep. And so this is what I remember. So Blade comes out and we knew Blade, like comic book fans, we knew Blade from the Spider-Man comic books and everything Blade had done. But a lot of people didn't know who Blade was, right? So Blade was unique in the fact that they, a lot of people thought that Blade was just a, like a made up new guy because there's nothing about Blade that says Spider-Man comic books that says in a bigger world. Not this exactly a, like the iconic character that we know him to be now. Right. So, you know, and to have Wesley Snipes be in that role and utilize all of the martial arts masters that we know that he had, to have the cast that you had, series movie, Stephen Dorff, and Bush A. Wright, uh, Chris Christopherson, uh, even in smaller roles like Donnell Logue, people like that, to have those people in this movie and to, for the movie to be taking itself seriously was just an amazing thing to, to watch. And later on, there was a debate that would happen. So let, The Matrix comes out the next year, but they were existing in the same time period. And a lot of people would compare which movie had better fight scenes, Blade or The Matrix. That's, and that's, that was that's an that, unfair comparison. But. And that was something that would, that would go back and forth. And like, it just depended on what you wanted. But I, it was a game changer for me. A game changer for me. And the defining role, in my opinion, of Wesley Snipes' career. Most definitely. So, Steve, All right. you got two picks. What are, where are you wait, going? Wait, hold on. Why does Steve get two picks in a row? Because that's a snake draft rule. Snake draft. We Here's the thing, right? If we're trying to do real Black History Month, Ooh. if we're really trying to step it up, right, we could do the snake draft where Ch Steve goes, but then Charles goes. At the end of everything, that's when Steve goes. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. He gets all. That's it. Oh, you get all so the last that's picks. The, that's a Slytherin draft. Rule. Yeah, you that's get a... you get picked last, no matter what. Wow. Right. So you'll go. Ooh. Charles will go. Van will go. I will go. <laughs> and then you will go again. And that's how we run that thing. That's tough. Yeah. Okay. That's really. That's really. <clears throat> Knee Steve is gonna my... end up. Steve is gonna end up with Hawkman. Okoye. I'm gonna end up. With, I'm gonna end up with. I'm gonna end up with fucking Frozone from the end of this. So it's like, <laughs> whoa, Frozone. Somebody who I didn't have on my list. Was not <laughs> well, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna put Frozone on my list. Oh, whoa, Steve. 
<laughs> hey, hey, I did some preparation you, here. <laughs> wait a minute. You just said a superhero name. Steve, you just picked Frozo. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> <don't want> <laughs> That's crazy. So ring it up for Steve. Ring, ring it up for Steve. Ring it up for Steve. Frozo. Frozo. Steve. <laughs> he would have made it to my list, but no, I can't. I can't let that be my first pick. I can't possibly okay, let that be my go, first pick. What you pick. got for us? All right, um, this will be um, one of the earliest superheroes, uh, one of the earliest black superheroes that I can remember from watching this cartoon as a kid. Uh, he's the coolest Green Lantern. Oh wow! He's Ooh. the best Green Lantern from the Justice League of America version. Yeah, John Stewart, aka yeah. the Green Lantern. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Love that character, voiced by the great Phil Lamar. Yeah, uh, legend. Like, Ooh, fan, like that's, fantastic. That's a good I, pick. You, I I'm thinking shocked. He's going to be taken. I didn't. Think I'm he was shocked be taken. that we are not in like active pursuit right now for a John Stewart uh, Green Lantern movie. They are. Well, the, but they, it's like they, the they fact fumbled that, around and fucked around with it for so they, things were so fucked up. Remember, they he was coming at the end of Justice League, but they had to switch it out, making Martian Manhunter. Yes, uh, because the Green Lantern Corps people said no. So mm-hmm. they they've, they've been fumbling around and fucking around with it for a while. But who would you like to see play him? Listen, let's do it real quick. Who would you guys like to see play John? See, uh, play John Stewart. I, Tyrese. Uh, I'm, <laughs> shut. No. Ooh, yeah, Tyrese. Ooh, my man. That was that was the running the running joke. That's actually a great question. I go I've, common. Stop. Com- common. Right, that's okay. enough. That's enough of that. Y'all no, so think common would make a good John Stewart? Hey, Steve. I need oh, the no, music. No, I need common the music. Was in the oh, running. come on. What's wrong with that choice? I what think about, okay, a, what about Amari Hardwick? Amari could be good. I like I Yaya. So. I like Yaya for wait, guys. Do you John wait, Stewart? Do you guys realize that Common was originally in the in the running? He was cast for it. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> wild, nah, bro. Uh, it would have been a bad movie. I mean, it's okay. Is it, is it glad movie. that I'm kind of glad that I did. That, yeah. that didn't happen. Right. You guys are. Hating on Common to the nth degree right now. Common would be good as the. I'm sorry, right, 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 because no, he's no. I We've saw seen him in John Wick, Common's bro. acting career. Okay, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. All right, let's move on. You didn't right, like we're, smoking we're, aces? Okay. All right, we're back. Okay, so we're we're back to the top. What are we doing now, Charles? All right, no, no. Charles. Doesn't Steve get two picks? No, we're not letting Steve get two picks in a row during Black History Month. Ooh, all right, cool. Damn. So, who, all right. damn, who's who's still in the running? You know what? <sighs> I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it back. I think this this character was super, super, super important to kids everywhere. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten a movie yet. But like the TV show, I think, introduced people to this milestone uh, character. Yeah. Okay. I've okay. got to put down Static Shock. Yeah. I, think, I figured yeah. Static Shock. Okay. 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 Ah, super, yeah, super, super iconic TV show. Um, it, it, yeah. Incredible. TV yeah. Show. So it's just... The comic, um, shout out to, to Dwayne McDuffie, RIP. Yeah, Static, There's you can't say enough about how much this did for the culture. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, there was that episode with the school shooting, man. Ooh, that one was crazy. Ooh. It's insane that, that, like that a kid's show old. did that. Yeah, it was. Right? Like, I, I was all. Re- I was always surprised. And look, I was obviously a little older when Static Shock was coming on. <laughs> how old so, yeah. Static Shock was <laughs> Dog, I was old, dog. Like, <laughs> I mean, you saw Blade in the theaters, so. Bro, bro I, I was old, bro. I remember, I remember I was waking up to watch that shock, and there was this girl named <laughs> and she was like, like, it's a cartoon? And I was like, yeah, but it's like a black guy. And she was like. <laughs> I like how that's, watching, that's the qualification. Yeah. The like, qualif- like, you watching cartoons? And I was like, hey, man, get your clothes and get the fuck out. Let me watch my cartoons, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Shout out to her. Bleep her name, by the way. Oh, um, <laughs> she was a very nice lady. She was a very nice lady. She was a very nice lady. Uh, okay, is it my turn or is it? Is uh, it's your turn, man. That'll be Van. Your yes, turn, man. Okay, easy one for me. He was has not been taken yet. We talk about how much Blade uh, mattered to people. This is an iconic character in both comic books and cartoons, and movies, a threefer, a threefer. This comic book, when it came out, was part of a mid-90s comic book revelation by some of the most absolutely iconic comic book writers uh, and pencilers ever. 
right? They started their own deal from Image Comics. Uh, when this guy came out, everybody ran and bought his first issue. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no. Everybody ran out. It was a cultural phenomenon when this character dropped. When the movie came out starring Michael Jai White and John ah, Leguizamo, yeah. it was another feather in the cap of film that I still love. And then even past that, this character went on to have his own cartoon on HBO, which is criminally underrated. Dang it. The hellscape master himself, the desperate demon, Tom McFarlane Spawn is my number two choice. That's an Fucking excellent sick. pick. That's Fucking an very excellent strong pick. pick. Very strong yeah. pick. Yes. Yeah. Tom McFarlane Spawn loved him, always loved him. He was the character that for one second broke me out of my X-Men obsession because <laughs> I, you guys, we talk about the Avengers now in the 90s. Nobody mm-hmm. gave them fuck about the Avengers. No. It was X-Men, 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 X-Men. And the character that rattled me out of, let me let me look at another book and kind of get into another book with Spawn. So I got to choose Spawn. That's a great pick. I remember my homies in, in high school put me on Spawn. They're like, hey, you got to read this. I was like, I don't, I don't really read comics at all. Like, what are y'all talking about? But this Todd McFarlane Spawn run, just great stuff. Just excellent stuff. Shout out Keith David, by the way. Incredible voice. Oh, yeah. And he does the voice in like the Mortal Kombat games too. Oh, yeah. Like he's it's awesome. Hell yeah. All right, Jomi, that's you. Wow. I'm actually really surprised that my pick is still on the board. I thought they would go, you know, early, but and honestly, thinking about it, if you have Black Panther, wow. you gotta have Storm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, I'm it going coming. with now, Storm. This, I, I, this is very important. Which iteration of Storm? Yeah, you got to pick the iteration. This is of Storm. very important because there is a right answer for me. All right. <laughs> there is a correct answer. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Storm from the X Men animated uh, television series. That's right. With the correct. Mohawk? Yeah. Yes. That's my Storm. Uh, got to go with Aurora Monroe. You know, and it's really it really sucks that we have we didn't get to see uh Black Panther and Storm fall in love on the screen yet. But that them falling in love with the comics is 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 great. It's great. So gotta have them together. I'm really shocked that she was here. What but, if we see in Multiverse of Madness a version of Black Panther and Storm? I would love that. That'd be really good for my heart. That would be amazing. I love Black Love. I mean, I love Black Love. Just let's just you know. Just move on from Halle Berry, but I love Black Love. <laughs> like, Damn. Res- respect Halle Berry. Yo, yo. Come on. you know what happens when you when you electrocute a toad? The same thing. The same that thing happens, that happens to everything else. else. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Cultural icon, lover to death. Top five worst cast decisions in movie history. Oh, I say, man. Oh, right. oh, in man. movie history? That's, I don't that's, know. That's, I gotta that's, feel like that's a long listen. list. That's Are a you long guys list. out of your fucking minds? Uh, listen, that is look, horrible. Things that, things listen, like, listen, that is things horrible that made casting. Sense, it made sense at the time. No, like, he Halle did Berry not. Halle was like the no. biggest like Hollywood actress that, like ever at that time. First of all. Like, how would you uh, not? No, she wasn't. Not even close. The first, this is, this, in the this, late 90s? Yeah. Uh. What are you talking about? No, she wasn't the biggest Hollywood actress ever. Uh, no, she was a big actress. Okay, okay. she was a big. It was like she was a big actress. Number number one. Remember, this is pre Monsters Ball. So not like she did mm-hmm. Monsters Ball, and then it was like boom, Halle Berry. She was she was the biggest black actress working for sure, right? Maybe, probably. Angela Bassett was also pretty big, but that but but what I'm saying is just to cast the role. And what I will say about the X-Men movie, even though the movie, to me, wasn't great, I didn't like it at all, they did great. They casted the characters great, except for the fact, even then, we looked at it, Halle Berry as Storm doesn't make any sense. She doesn't look like Storm aesthetically. (laughs) She didn't have the gravitas to pull off Storm. Mm. She had zero, zero ties to anything African. It is a complete... She, they lobotomized the character. How, so how long have you been holding play? on to this, man? Yes, I need Steve to put this the ether beast This is not a controversial take, guys. Like, I, it, 
this is not a controversial. I don't take think she was all. a great storm, but you're acting like this was the wor- worst possible terrible choice. casting. I don't <laughs> look. I can see your. I can see where you're coming from, but to call it like institutional malpractice is a lot. I it, think. Is, yeah. it is. Right. Horrible. And I hope someday that when they cast Storm, they will actually have the nuts to cast a woman who looks like she's Kenyan. I hope that we'll, I hope that at some point when they're casting Storm, they'll have the unmitigated gall, Stephen A. Smith, to cast a woman <laughs> that looks like Storm how we see Storm. That's all for me. That's all for all me. Right. Great pick. All right. Uh, I think it's my pick now because yeah. correct. Like, I'm back on the, back on the top. I don't have two picks yet. Um, all right, this is I'm gonna swerve a little bit here because I'm gonna divert away from comic books and comic book characters uh, to the world of television and science fiction. Uh, th- like th- this TV show meant a lot to me as a kid growing up, and I think this is probably one of the coolest uh, characters when you when you talk about Star Trek. Uh, I grew up watching The Next Generation and I don't think there was a character to me that was any cooler than the chief engineer of the USS Enterprise, Jordy LaForge. Ooh. Pretty good pick. Pretty Played good pick. By, with a plume by, Le, by LeVar Burton. Uh, he was so <laughs> smart. He, he was weird around girls, which who can't relate. Uh, and he would often have uh, great adventures with uh, Data in the holodeck playing Sherlock Holmes. He was like one of my favorite characters of all time. Van, why are you looking at Steve like that? Jomi's looking really skeptical at me. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's... that's I'm not going to lie to you, Steve. That's the <laughs> <tough. laughs> What are you talking tough. about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do y'all hate Star Trek? Let me be clear. I love, I love LeVar Burton. That's my guy, right? Reading yeah. Rainbow. That's right. you know what I'm saying. Well, like he's a treasure yeah. my heart forever. Right. That's your second pick, my guy. That's your second pick. That's your second pick. Hey, listen, I, I freed up. I freed up some board space. You got. You can play with the rest. That's right? tough. That's, right, that's, that's tough. That's, that's, I, I mean, see, like, see, look. I, hey, he see, meant a look, lot to me. No, right? no, no. And I understand. He meant like, a lot to me. My, yeah, he, I mean, my <laughs> thing is, if anybody vote for votes for Steve during this part, you know, portion <laughs> of the podcast, and like that is kind of racist. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah. Like, Steve should have zero on the board. Steve, that's 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 nuts, Steve. I'm not gonna lie. I love shout out to Jordy. <laughs> what, that's, that's, that's a reach. That's a reach. Shout out to Jordy LaForge, Steve. That's you, just drafted, you just drafted Tebow in the first round, bro. That, Johnny Manziel. That, that's <laughs> drafted Jordan, Jordan Love, right? right. Baker Mayfield, number one overall. Like, I think this is. A, I think this is a dark horse pick. I like a this. Dark I think horse people are really I think, like no, this. no, no. I think it's a dark co pick. I think it's myself a dark. Up for that one. Wait, Steve, yeah. you think you didn't think Jordy LaForge would have been there like at at four? You could have got Jordy LaForge <laughs> last. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> what? Shout Most definitely. To, shout out to Jordy LaForge. Shout out uh, to him, bro. Shout out to him. By the way, this is in no way. Well, this, is, this is no way a reflection on how I feel about the delightful and lovely LeVar Burton. Yeah, so love LeVar. Love if you're besmirching Joey LaForge, you're really like taking his shit on LeVar. No, no. don't do that. Steve. No, hey, uh, listen. No, you listen to me. Listen to me. This is a damn good pick. This is, right? Okay. It's I, a great pick at, great. Like, at like, you know, round two. <laughs> Right. Or not like right round two, but like, it you is know, round two. <laughs> right. I meant like, you know, like maybe round like pick four? 67, you know? Like way down the line when you're not right. reaching. This Man, is a reach, up. Steve. All right. Okay. All right. Who's next? It's me. No, I thought I was next. <laughs> no, it's Charles. Snake. It, it, it's, oh, yeah. It is I, I went Storm. Uh, so now it's Jomi with his third pick and then Van with his third, Charles with his third. Again, yeah. really surprised this person is still on the board. Um, I've been watching a lot of Clone Wars. Damn. Yeah. And, yeah. And I knew it was He's got a lot of this character, you know? And if you ask any. Any black person, you ask any black person on the street, hey, what color lightsaber you you think you want? They're going to say purple Damn. because of Mace Windu. Now it gets tough. Got to have Mace on there. You know, that's the guy, the the only, you know, black Jedi that, that we see. Man's got the skills and the only brother out there with the purple lightsaber had to be stunned on him. You feel me? Yeah. He had to be out there like that. You know, you can see him, of course, in the prequels, but you really get to know Mace in the in the Clone Wars series. Um, even though the Jedi Order, this we gotta have a conversation about the Jedi Order. There were some frauds. 
like legitimately bad at their job. I just got finished seeing what they did to Ahsoka, right? Just like dismissing her claims as she was trying to be like, hey, I'm innocent. It wasn't me, even though the bad guy was in their midst the whole time. And then like everything that happens with Order 66 and Luke, like we need to have a conversation like all the Jedi Order, were they always fraudulent? You know? I mean, they fucked up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like, they really fucked up. Yeah, they fucked but up. But I, I mean, c- consistently at every well, turn, make the wrong decision. Well, the Jedi. Well, see what happened with the Jedi was the Jedi lost their way because the Jedi are supposed to be uh, in line with the will of the Force, and they actually became a political instrument. And so, when the Jedi decided to not serve the will of the Force and actually serve the Republic, as essentially like foot soldiers and minions of they, they thought they were doing the right thing even when when um when obi-wan says my allegiance is to the republic to the democracy what obi-wan should have been saying is my allegiance is to the will of the force mm. and when and when the jedi lost sight of that and they became a political organization then the reality is they were going to be inherently flawed and do fucked up shit separation yeah. of church and state that's what it was yeah for sure I'm really sure. mad because just because of how it all shaked out, Jomi's really cleaning up. Jomi's doing his thing. Yeah, it's a tough Clean one. Up. It's a tough one for Jomi. I don't know. Van can, Van this can also, but one. this also more so speaks to how, like, if we're going to be honest, there's not that many characters. It was tough. It was it's tough. tough. Like, going through the list is hard. That's why, you know, we, we speak on representation and why it matters, man. Like, but see, here's the deal, though. And, and this is my thing. Uh, now it's going to separate the men from the boys because after the characters that we've chosen, there's a major drop off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, no, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Jordy LaForge could have been available. <laughs> <laughs> there's still a whole bunch of Jordy like, LaForge. I'm playing chess there. over here. I'm there's playing a, chess. There's a, there's a, there's a, like, a major drop off. So I was almost, I was banking on getting Mace Windu. Oh, almost I was banking where, on it too. Almost to the point to where I thought about going with Mace Windu before Spawn, but yeah, I had you should have you should have done that. Wait, so Spawn I, I'm going to ask you no, guys. No, no, I had to. I had to have Spawn. I had. Okay. I had to. Have That's Spawn. the personal pick. It's a personal pick. What I do you guys think Spawn. was the the top three prospects in this draft? It was obviously Black Panther, Miles Black Morales, Black Panther, Blade, and probably and Miles Morales are the Miles th- Morales. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like so Storm we got was right after that to me. Storm is yeah. right after. Storm right. was right after that to me. So now we're a little bit. Hee-hoo. Yeah, we get uh, to the weeds now. Now we get, yeah, we get some fun. We get some fun picks coming had to, up. Had, had to have fun. So I'm gonna take. So since I'm gonna take a controversial pick right here. Oh, now there are a lot of people I could pick. Yeah, I could pick a guy who actually has his own television show. Not gonna pick him. You guys can have him. <laughs> Lost too many fights for me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't think no, he's exactly. gonna pick one. I don't he's think gonna pick one. He's not making my team. I'll tell you that right now. He's not lost too many fights for me. He's not making my team. No, sir. I could pick another guy that had his own TV show that was a huge, huge deal for a while. Never fucked with it that much. It was cool. It was dope. Part of the Netflix run. I'm gonna pick somebody else who was only black in this particular television show. Oh. I'm going to pick Yahya Abdul Mateen II's version of Dr. Manhattan from the oh, HBO oh, wow. Watchmen season. Very nice. That's a deep cut. That's a deep Dr. cut. Dr. Manhattan, a guy who can do anything and who obviously was using some prosthetics during that season. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> how, do you, how do you know? You got the inside information? I don't know nothing, but damn. Uh, <laughs> right. Dr. Manhattan, who we know, uh, you know, got his powers from being in the particles separator, you know, comes back. But when he's back, and see, this guy is so like so much like Steve, he code switches. So he was white the entire time during the 50s and the 60s when it was fucked up. But when he wanted to get with Regina King, he knew that wasn't going to work. So he showed up as a black man. Y'all, y'all, y'all do him a team in a second. Isn't that, I mean, uh, uh, Jerem, uh, Jeremy Irons said it, but like, isn't that not co- some kind of appropriation? Uh, who cares? He's not the man. <laughs> okay. So, so okay. Um, a guy who could pretty much do anything, I would argue, is one of the strongest characters in the entire DC uh, extended advanced universe can pretty much do anything. Godlike character, make another world on Saturn. So, so I'm going Yaya to 
Yahya Abdul Mateen the seconds uh, Dr. Manhattan from the Watchmen series. Got so, it. Wonderful. For my Great choice, pick. this is going to be a controversial choice, but this man, the white people put him through a lot, okay? Um, he's from another world. He had to take care of the white man's child, raise him <laughs> as his own. God damn it, Charles. When he was abandoned uh, and turned him into one of the greatest fighters in the universe, I'm going with Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z. Wow, Piccolo. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't, hold on. Right, here we go. No, 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 wait, 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 let's, wait, wait. Just, let's just give everybody time. Let's all go Google the picture just, of Piccolo real quick. Wait, wait, hold on. Right. I mean, like... Uh, First, let's, let's, I've always let's thought go. of Piccolo yeah. as I, I don't know if we can go Piccolo, bro. Here's a, no, okay, so this, Piccolo? I don't think we could. I don't think we could allow Piccolo, bro. We can allow Piccolo. <laughs> I don't know that we can allow Piccolo, man. Like, I, I don't this know. Is, this is that, pure intuition. I can't. I can't say yeah. No, you nay. can't. You have no. I can't say no, yeah or nay. Yeah, come on, no like Piccolo. Us. I've always imagined Piccolo as a black man. The kind of the only black man in Dragon Ball Z. If we're gonna be honest. Oh, oh, so Mr. <laughs> Listen. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. First of all, Dragon Ball Z doesn't need any black people. Dragon Ball Z is, it, it doesn't. Like, that's, that's Dragon Ball Z is made for in, in a different place. So they, they make a show with how they see themselves. You know what I mean? It's, mm-hmm. a, it's a manga. So I'm not tripping that Dragon Ball Z doesn't have. We should, we, sometimes you have, like, that would be me getting mad to attack a Titan. Attack on Titan doesn't really have any black people in it. Right. Yeah. So like I'm watching it. It's like sometimes let's just transmute ourselves and get to somebody else's story. Now, having said that, I don't know that we can allow Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're telling the younger version of me who was looking at Dragon Ball Z being like, now, he's so, so cool. I think to be uninitiated, yes. I think we should say that uh, Piccolo is a green alien. He's green. Yeah. <laughs> like he's, he's From, green. Like, and I, you know. fucking Yaya is a fucking blue guy with a big dick. What are you like? What are we doing? He's black. He's black, black on the show. He's black, black on the show. the whole show. He's black <laughs> on the show. Right. He's right, black. right. He's black on the show. I mean, like, like, we're like he's black on the show the whole time. I don't think that we can allow people. I think Charles. we can allow people. I feel like we should let the people vote think so. on whether we can allow well, people. No, or I not. think it's two against one at this point. If <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get a vote. I don't think I don't wait because and look how I went with. It. I'm like, oh yeah, great pickle. Wait a minute, no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> See, well, that's interesting though that you just assumed. You are really gonna say I can't? Drive well, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not saying that Charles isn't right. I mean, we claimed Piccolo, yeah, for sure. I remember now, that was that are, one now are you point. claiming Piccolo? No, like he, he's not black. Like there was this one little point where Piccolo was the most powerful character, and we was going in on that. But you can't have Piccolo, Charles. I don't think you can do Piccolo. Like I don't think but you can have Piccolo. We're celebrating the greatest black, you know, superheroes. Yeah, we, we, can, we gotta be respectful. Like, <laughs> yeah. You can do. You can't put yeah. Piccolo, yeah. Up, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> Talk, look at Charles. I'm like, so broken. He is He's so hurt. I'm sorry. So <laughs> Dog, you're breaking oh, my heart. Shit. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of people out there, uh, Charles. You can't, you can't, you can't have Piccolo, man. Piccolo's not gonna work, bro. All right, fine. If I can't choose Piccolo, guys, if you think I should have been able to choose Piccolo, please <laughs> defend me in the comments because I think this is right. an egregious choice. An egregious. <laughs> okay. Ooh. You know who I'm going to pick then? Who you got? Who you got? I'm going to pick another leader. All right. Uh huh. Someone who the only thing that's important to them is La Familia. I'm going with Dalvin right now. No! What are you talking about? Wait! 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 No, bro. What? He's, he, bro. Vin Diesel is black. He is not plain black. His name is Dominic Toretto. We didn't see his dad. We didn't, bro. Come on, man. Like, oh my god, we are. He's not plain. He's not black, bro. His brother is John Cena. It's not gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it. Like, bro. Like his brother is John Cena, and they made a little. Come on, man. He's not black, bro. 
You know, you really take do- you really taking Vin Diesel's blackness away from him. See, I'm not taking his blackness away this from him. This is how we do. Like we we're trying to unite all of our people <laughs> under one side. Nah, and just and you trying slide. to say Dominic Toretto's not black? Right. It's By the way, that, that, this is this is disrespectful to Hobbs, who was right there for you. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not like, picking like, Hobbs. Why wouldn't you pick Hobbs? Cause he's the fucking man. He's the police. <laughs> I went, like it's Black History Month. I ain't putting a police officer on no, my fair fucking point. Draft. That makes sense. Like, no, come on, fair yeah. point. So yeah. I can't. All right, um, fine. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Two black men that you're saying I can't fucking choose. This is fine. A little egregious. Whatever. So you know what? Since Jomi picked the animated version of Storm. I'm picking the superior version of Storm, the one who beat Cyclops's fucking ass and took his team away from him, okay? One of the greatest X-Men of all time. I'm going comic book version of Storm, Chris Claremont version of Storm. Can I not pick that? It said in the rules we could pick any the, the same, The same character? The same character. Charles, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You are Rob Palenka right now. You are a fucking <laughs> in Strugglesville. Like, no, because here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's a, no, 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 no. Let's be like, clear. No, no, I should have been we, able to pick Piccolo. No, no. I should have no, been no, able no. to pick Piccolo. No, 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 no Charles. No, you picked Charles, fucking Dr. Manhattan. Can, like, what are we doing? He's black here? on the show, bro. He's black. <laughs> He's black. I, I, Pick, he's a black. black. What are we talking bro, he's, about? He's black on the show, <laughs> bro. He's got Storm. You can't pick Storm, bro. Storm's character the, is off the, the board. The, like the like guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Why can't y'all keep saying these? Nah, you can't do that. Nah, you can't do that. Like, bro, 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 bro you can do this. You can we believe in you, bro. There's. There are options. You you can't, you can't yeah, no, here's the thing. This shit was not in the rules. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> oh my god! You can't do this, bro. Charles, bro. Come on. Just fucking pick Falcon and call it. I'm not picking Falcon. <laughs> Why I picked Falcon. Uh, let's, just, let's just be clear. I just want to be very clear. I want to be very clear. Charles would rather pick Piccolo, Dominic Toretto, or another character before he picks Falcon. Before he picks Falcon. Like, I want to I win this jab, bro. I want to win this jab. I'm not picking fucking Falcon, yo. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. Oh Rather pick three people that are not eligible to oh, pick Falcon. Wow. I, got, oh. I got tears in my eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, Piccolo Jesus. should be, I should be able to pick him. All no, right? you can't. You can't pick Oh, Piccolo. you can't pick that. I'm sorry. Why could you, you can, Piccolo's not black, dog. You can't pick Piccolo. Piccolo is Piccolo. black. No, you can't pick Piccolo. Charles, just make, make a choice, bro. Come on, man. It's like, <laughs> we're 46 in. Like, <laughs> I'm so mad. Fuck this crap. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm so mad. You know what? It's you know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know who I'm gonna pick? Oh. I'm gonna pick Mr. Shades himself, the pill man. I'm going with Morpheus. Okay. A fantastic pick. That was like right the <laughs> Fantastic pick. Like, what are you nah. doing? You just Come wasted. On. You just wanted us to get some comedy. No, <laughs> I wanted Piccolo. Okay, I'm what mad. a great pick. Morpheus nah, is man. great. Nah, man. Morpheus is great. Oh man, Jeremy, jo- jo- for the graphic, I, I need think- like a line through Piccolo, a line through Dominic <laughs> Toretto, a line nah, through nah. Stone. Bro, I think Morpheus <laughs> is a better pick than Piccolo. No, he's no, not. Morpheus is a great pick. Is. Morpheus is a great pick. That's a great bro. pick. Morpheus is, I think, look at Charles. And for the third round? I, Hell yeah. That's I think awesome. Morpheus is a I, better pick than Piccolo. That's a strong pick to put you in the draft. You sniped bro. one of my picks. That's, yeah, that's a that's great a pick. That's a really strong pick. That's not speaking much of Steve, though. He had Jordy LaForce in the second. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, with my pick, now that yeah. we, <laughs> we're all settled. That was um, hilarious, man. I, th- I think. Um, this character in uh, a major re-edit got a lot of redemption. Uh, I think we we owe a lot back to Ray Fisher 
And I think his portrayal of Cyborg wow. Damn, good, good. was That's good. Good pick. No, really good. No, 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 no. You're picking uh, Justice League movie Cyborg. I mean, is he the best Cyborg? No, but I liked that Cyborg. Wait, wait, Teen wait. Titans version is right there. I, yeah, but that's fine. I don't, I don't know. I don't like, I love Booyah, but like, let's like, I want to, I, I want to pick Ray Fisher. I'm picking Ray Fisher. Damn, that's mm. tough. Ray Fisher's Cyborg. Uh, he was great. I, I like I genuinely what a 180 turn from Zack Snyder's Justice League to whatever the fuck that first movie was. Yeah. Fair. Uh, yeah. Fair. It's 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 very true. Okay, who's next? Who's next? That's actually a good pick. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, a solid pick. Charles is uh, next again. Be, be next again. Oh, I'm Charles. next again. All right. Yes, I'm choosing the greatest leader of all time. Okay, the greatest leader of all time. Mm-hmm. He saved our planet countless times. Mm. All right, I guys want. I want you guys to roll out. I'm picking Optimus Prime. No. <laughs> What, what are you doing? What? what are you doing? Optimus, <laughs> Optimus Black. No, no, he's not. No. There was only no. one black uh, Autobot. His name was Jazz, and he died first. Yeah. That's racist. All those two little, guy, all those two little guys that they put in the movie and made us boycott. Yeah. You know what I mean? Remember those little mo- No, Charles. You're, I'm just no. promised not. I mean, like, I wish he was black. That'd I feel like you guys. Here's the thing. Talking about the Illuminati. <laughs> all right. They got into your fucking mind. Okay. Disney, Michael Mouse don't want you to know that these characters are proud black men. It's fine. It's uh, fine. Charles, I could see I get, if the guy who voiced him was black. I could see if he had the koofy. <laughs> I could see if he had, I could see if there was anything. A little robotic koofy. I would love, 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 love Prime to be black, bro. Prime is one of my favorite characters. Prime ain't black, bro. Prime, Prime is not black. Prime ain't black, bro. I would give you, you I would like, 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 like never not mind, I, might, I might pick him. I might pick. I, that's not. So you better. Cause cause all right. Because I want. I just want to set the rule. Are you telling me that no robots are eligible because robots can't be black? I'm no. I'm telling you, if there is somebody on the Autobots that's black, it ain't Prime. I will give you an example. Somebody who I wanted to pick that I think is clearly black, but is a cat. I wanted to pick Panthro. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. You don't want to. <laughs> Jesus. Panthro is clearly the black I, thundercat. Whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, You're, here's the thing. You're telling me that Panthro is black, but Piccolo is not black. Bro, Panthro is bald with two hoop earrings, dog. Come on, like like MJ and Daddy like said, Michael Jordan, dog. Like, like, like Panthro. Yeah, bro, Panthro is black, bro. They, everybody knows. Everybody knows Panthro is black, bro. Panthro is black, bro. Piccolo, but, but, who is also bald <laughs> and also has been known to wear earrings, is not. But, but, but it's not black. But Panthro it's different. is. It's different. P- Piccolo just has Panthro be on that bitch like, hey, motherfuckers, let's head back. You know, Panthro black, bro. Like, Panthro black. <clears throat> but it's okay. Uh, you can't. Now nah, you can't. You can't do Optimus Prime. It's not gonna fly. See, this is this is, is going to make for the interesting game that I have planned for us later. That's fun. Yeah. That That's game is going to be fun. But yeah. man, we gotta like, do that game then. But you can't, you can't have, you can't have all right. this problem. Bro. All right, this is my final pick. This is my final pick. All right, all right. Who's ta- I'm, I'm looking at who's taking. Hmm. <laughs> right. hmm, 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 hmm. Remember, Jordan LaForge. I got Jordan LaForge. <laughs> right. That's off the board. Yeah. Off the board, Jordan LaForge. You know LaForge. what? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is tough. This is tough. All right, you know who I'm gonna go with? I'm cool. gonna go with the zombie killer herself. We need, we need some more women on this. I'm going with Michonne from The Walking oh, Dead. Dope. I'm going with Michonne from The Walking that's Dead. There you dope. go. Michonne is great. You guys fucking around with all this <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Who, so right. Whose choice is it now? Van, it's yours. It's Van's, it's Van's turn. Fourth and final pick. Okay, fourth and final pick. Now, here's the deal. This is a tough pick for me because I don't know what to do. I have a couple people here on my board that I think would make for interesting picks. Okay? Like super interesting picks. I have a couple of people on my board that I think are better known. You know? So I'm trying to think, do I go for a super power? If I'm going for the most powerful character left on the board, I know who I go for. But not a lot of people know this character. I feel like all of the people who watch... Fuck it, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, I'm going to pick Blue Marvel. All right, Adam Bashir. Yeah. 
so shut up, Charles. Um, <laughs> so let me tell you why. Oh, no, no. All right, Van, I got to be real with you. You're my boy. I got to be real with you. What? Jomi's going to fucking run away with this shit. If you he, pick he, nah, Jomi, Jomi's doing, Jomi's doing great. No, Charles? he's going to run away with it. You are the only one still in contention. You cannot make your last pick, Blue Marv. Kind of feel like I already did that. I kind of feel like they made the call to the league office. No, yeah, and it's I, already yeah, in. Yeah, Hold on. on I'm picking Blue Marvel. And I was like, like and, and, and so shit, man. Deal. He and took so stops fourth overall. That's, <clears> that's it's what it is. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking Blue Marvel. Here's the reason why. There are a lot of characters here that I that I could have gone with. Um, a lot of characters that are better known. But I personally am going to pick a character that is hyper powerful. Maybe the smartest man in all of Marvel comic books, perhaps the strongest character in all of, all of Marvel comic books, the leader of the multiversal Avengers, a character whose backstory, if you don't know it, quick backstory on Blue Marvel. Blue Marvel was a hero in the 60s in Marvel comics, and he was fighting off this big, huge villain that the Avengers could not stop. In the middle of this fight, Blue Marvel's suit was ripped. It was exposed that underneath his suit, he was a black man, a black man. President Kennedy then asked Blue Marvel to step down from saving the world because America wasn't ready for a black superhero yet. Uh, he was, his memory of him was wiped. He came back years later on, and now he is one of the biggest characters. You are going to see Blue Marvel in the MCU pretty soon, but this character is a very rich character maybe the most powerful character ever. President Kennedy gave Blue Marvel a medal. He was pissed. He chucked the blue, he took the medal, threw the medal, the medal almost hit the moon. That's how strong he is. He's beating up all kinds of people. He's great. Adam Brashear, Blue Marvel, he is a brilliant guy. He is a powerful guy. From the comic books, I am taking Blue Marvel. That is my final, that is my final pick. Wonderful pick. All right. That's a solid pick. Solid pick. Yeah, I've got the the last pick that matters because I don't know what Steve's doing over there. Um, and there's Plan a lot chess. of options. You know, Plan Falcon, chess. you know, War Machine. There's a lot of there's a lot of places I can go, but I'm really stuck between two two thoughts of mine. I can go with like a pick that means a lot to me in my heart, but also like just one of the legendary heroes of our time. Ah, it's just it's really tough. I'm going to go with the pick in my heart because everybody who listens to the pod knows about my Young Avengers agenda. Wow. And so I'm just going to wrap it all up with my boy Aqualad. Great pick. My boy Aqualad, the leader of the first iteration of the Young Justice team, the heir to Aquaman, who... When my boy, my boy first told me, my boy Isaac, he was like, hey, you got to watch Young Justice. I was like, I'm not trying to watch no Young Justice. What do you mean? He was like, Aqualad? I'm not trying to watch no Aqualad. He's like, nah, you got to tap in. The boy with the, with the water, the, uh, you know, he got the water weapons and the magic. It's just like, I mean, I've been speaking about it for how long? I'm down with Aqualad. That's my fourth and final pick. That's my team. Flawless victory. Flawless that's victory. A good, that's a good one. At, I don't feel like Aqualad, Aqualad's a great pick, but I don't feel like Aqualad like seals it. Charles, I think there's it's a, a it's lot. It's a wild card of, pick. There, it's a wild it's card a, pick. Aqualad's but here's, a great here's pick. the thing. It here's the thing. I, it's just like there's no weakness here. There's no weakness. I'm so jealous. Here's the thing. Starting off with Black Panther, this is what this is the thing that I think is really really tough about this. Starting off with Black Panther, the fall off from him to every other character is massive. I mean, it's tough. I'm not saying like creatively who the characters are just in terms of like moments. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Charles, Black Panther was a very important choice. Yo, cheer the fuck up. I'm it's here's the thing. I'm heartbroken because here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't get to talk about anime a lot on this podcast because who the fuck cares <laughs> to be honest who fucking cares but you broke my heart because you said to you the little child in me you're like hey fuck you fuck your love of anime and fuck Piccolo go that's pick more that's, that's what, what you we said love, like, we love Piccolo. Piccolo we love Optimus we, we love Optimus Pick uh, Morpheus no. I still 
Contend was a better choice than Piccolo. No, he's not. Piccolo's Charles way Jertin better than Morpheus. Charles Jertin might be better than mine. Steve, what's your last pick? All go right. Ahead, <laughs> like, go ahead and put, pick Sanford from Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and pick some other TV wow, character. Wow, do JJ? All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> be <Jesus>. careful. No, <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I'm surprised that he wasn't even mentioned here. Um, because we we caught him in uh, <laughs> what? I'm sorry. I just I, like Falcon was just done so, so dirty by Charles. Ain't nobody picking Falcon. Yeah. I know. Yeah, come That's on, so man. Funny. Here's the here's reason you can't on, pick man. Falcon or War Machine, in my opinion, is because like the MCU has kind of done them dirty for too many years. Like they yeah, they just but that's to, and and I mentioned that because I'm picking somebody that was also in his own show, but wasn't Falcon. Uh, I'm talking about the second Captain America. Isaiah Bradley. The old man from the MCU? Yeah. Or the comic well, books? The comic books. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like, let me, tell you, let me tell you why I feel like that. That's a pandering ass I choice. Did, I was wow. thinking the same thing. <laughs> 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 I was in my head. I was like, Steve, right, you know what? No, 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 Ain't no real fourth pick. You trying That's to get the, the votes? You trying to get you sacrificing? You sac- <laughs> you're sacrificing. You, this is this is top tier P. This is top tier sacrificism. Man, you had right. options, you Steve. Right? You had options. I'm gonna you be right. real, guys. I'm gonna be real. Like that's where you went. The execs coming down from the rafters and pulling the plug after this. <laughs> 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 they're, like, they're like, nah, bro. Y'all why? <laughs> you choose. <laughs> like that's a sacrifice pick. It's like, yo, I'm gonna choose the real dude who they fucked over and like. Come on, Isaiah. Uh, we feel bad for you, homie. Yo, really. Steve, pick Luke Cage. Like, okay, okay, pick Luke Cage so we can wrap this up. Man. Like, he already <laughs> picked him. He picked him. He he already already picked that's going on the graphic. Like, he already that's picked him. Like, no, you picked I, Isaiah I, I, Bradley. Jomi, if you don't put the old Luke Cage from the MCU on it, I'm going to be mad. He already picked him. Already picked it's him. Isaiah Bradley, and it's going to be the picture of him old. That's what it's going to be. All right, be. so let's, let, let's talk about real quick. So we all got our teams. Everybody, first of all, Steve, read your team out. All right, my team is is John Stewart, Jordy LaForge, Cyborg, and Isaiah Bradley. Uh, Jomi, my team: Black Panther, Storm from the X Men animated series, Mace Windu, and Aqualad. Uh, uh, Charles, uh, my picks are Blade, Static Chalk, not Piccolo, not Dominic Toretto, not Comic Book Storm, <laughs> Morpheus. And then we show. <laughs> okay, and my team is Miles Morales, Spawn, Doctor Manhattan, that's played by uh, Yaya Abdul Mateen, and Blue Marvel Adam Brashear. I think these I think these teams are a lot more equally yoked than people think that they are. The Jordy LaForge pick takes fucking Steve clearly <laughs> out of this. <laughs> um, nah, Steve, uh, Steve. Man, no. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's a here's a good question though, because we left a lot of people on the board. We left a few people right on now. the board. So I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm gonna name some names. Is that okay? okay. That's great. That's great. Black Lightning was left on the board. Yep. Heimdall was left on the board. Yeah. Falcon was like like Heimdall of course, was left on the board. Forgot about Heimdall. Um, um, Asleep at the wheel. Heimdall all the time. He's yeah, so like his job. Luke Cage was left on the board. Shuri mm-hmm. was left on the board. Nick Fury was left on the board. Hancock was left on the board. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I don't, <laughs> of course, Hancock. Shuri was left on the board. I don't think any of us will give her a shot. Oh. I don't think she'll get the shot. Oh. A A train from the boys, uh, oh. I, I, like A train yeah. from the boys was on there. Whatever. Lando Hawk Calrissian, Man, Hawkman, Lando Calrissian Shit. was left on the board. Yeah, that's all right. You went um, with Jordy LaForge, Steve, <laughs> over Lando. Oh. <laughs> Mister Terrific was left on the board. Bishop was left on the board. Uh, John Henry Irons from Superman and Lois and some other people I had. Mother's Milk yeah. from the boys. The OG, yeah, so, the OG Black uh, <laughs> Power Ranger left on the board. OG Black Prozone, Power Ranger left on the board. Agent J left on the board. Fillmore. Agent De- J left on the board. Deathlock left on the board. Um, Power Deathlock line from a goofy movie. Power. Def- Martian Manhunter. <laughs> <laughs> Martian Manhunter. Nobody chose Martian Manhunter. Well, he, you know, he's Martian. Is he black? Yeah, see, I mean, if Piccolo's not <laughs> a black man, I guess Martian Manhunter can't be either. But Martian Man, but see, here's the thing, though. 
No, don't Marsha do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is all right. This we're is not doing this. Okay, okay. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Let her talk. Let that talk. Let that talk. I should have maybe picked Marsha Manhunter. I'm not going to lie. Like, Marsha Manhunter is great. Before would have been great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How is. Whoa, 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 whoa. How the fuck is Martian Manhunter a black man? Because he makes himself into a black man. So does Piccolo. Piccolo. Piccolo, no, he doesn't. Oh, my. John Johns. All right, I need everybody. I need everybody. To go look at Jomi's Black Panther costume that he wore. That is how Piccolo costume. looks. That's how Piccolo <laughs> looks. Like, let's not do that. that is how I'm Piccolo looks. Let's not do that. I'm bro. not gonna lie. Hey, leave my That's how Piccolo looks, looks, man. That is how Piccolo. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Oh shit. That is exactly how Piccolo looks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That is how Piccolo looks. That's a solid point, Charles. Like, like, that's how Piccolo looks. 